Okay, the best way to learn how to build something is to just jump in and start doing it. So let's take a look at uh, one of our example files here and we'll go ahead and build an installer for it. So on your training CD-ROM you'll see that there's a source files folder and inside there there's another folder called files. Inside the files folder you'll see this. Some different folders with numbers. Let's go into folder number one. As you can see there's an application sitting inside here. Let's go ahead and start this up and see what it is. It takes a second to fill up the list and then you'll see that the list fills up with a bunch of different titles. These are actually posts from the Indigo Rose forum feed and this goes ahead and refreshes itself in real time. So if we wanted to, for example, see one of these posts in our default web browser, we would actually just double click on the title here in the list and it would retrieve that post for us using our web browser. So it's kind of a handy little application. It's basically a way of keeping in touch with what the top headlines are in the indigoros.com forum and what's new. So as you can see here, it brought up the correct post. Quick tip, pending reboot operations. And that's how that works. Okay, so let's go ahead and shut that down. And then we'll create a professional installer for this application now. So we've created the application. Now we need to do the end process. We'll go ahead here to our programs menu and start up Setup Factory. Actually, we're going to go ahead and create a shortcut to Setup Factory on our desktop by dragging it onto our desktop and now we can just start our application by clicking on that shortcut anytime we need. We'll see the splash screen and it should just take a couple of seconds and Setup Factory will be going. So now we've got a single file in this installer so we don't have to worry about too much planning because we've just got that one file. Let's go ahead and press create a new project and then we can go ahead and fill out this project wizard so let's make up something. We'll say that our company name is Indigo Rose our product's name will be Headline Grabber. Product's version will be 1.0. Company's URL will be indigorose.com. And then let's press the Next button. What folder are my files located in? Now that's going to be my Source Files folder here. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, in my source files folder, let's see here, number one, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that address from the explorer bar there. And I'm going to go ahead and press next. So I've typed in essentially here the location of my source files folder. And now I'm going to select, leave the wizard uh, selection chosen. And you can also choose the wizard with background window selection if you like. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. What the heck? We'll go ahead and put in a black background around our wizard. Let's press next and now we get a theme chooser so we can go ahead and select from the different themes that are included with Setup Factory. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Euro theme. I'll press next. I'm going to leave mine selected with English but you could actually go ahead and check the checkboxes for any languages that you want your setup to support here in this multilingual settings dialog. And we don't need these visual basic runtimes for our project but if you did you would check those and in addition you've got the scan visual basic project file for dependencies so you can automatically scan, uh, scan a project file for uh, file dependencies here. I'm going to press next. Here we're going to go ahead and include uninstall support. We're going to leave the create a log file during installation checked and we will also leave the warn a user if they don't have administrative privileges option checked. Here we're going to go with any OS but I'll expand that list and you can see what it consists of. We can actually build our installers for specific operating systems, Windows operating systems, including future operating systems. So we're going to go ahead and leave all those checked and we're going to press finish. Now our project is built and it's basically ready to go. We could go ahead and uh, publish this project as it is and it'll work just fine. Let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go to publish, build, and that's the F7 shortcut key. We're going to choose web single file so that's going to create a single file installer. We'll press next and then here we've got a choice of where we can put our file. We'll go ahead and leave it with the defaults and we'll press build. Now it gives us an option here to open our output folder. I'm going to go ahead and press finish. And here's our installer. It's been built and it's ready to go. Let's see how it works. I'm going to start it up. As you can see here we've got the black background around the wizard like we set up. We've got our website address and our company information here. We've got our title. Everything's in place. Headline Grabber 1.0. We'll press Next. Again, you can see the theme applies itself from screen to screen. We've got a top image here 
which sort of matches our side image here, so it's kind of nice. And we've left our license agreement blank, of course, but we'll go ahead and agree to that. We'll go through the next screen. We'll just type in any name here. And then we'll press Next. Now we'll leave this with the default, to, so it's going to install into the Program Files folder under the name Headline Grabber. We'll go ahead and install a shortcut for the current user only. And then we'll take a look at the summary here, make sure everything's right. As you can see, it's uh, got the right folder and so forth. And again, as you can see, this is the typical user installer experience. So your end users are, are getting a professional installer experience, which is consistent with what they're used to. And we'll go ahead and press Next. And that's it. Our application has been installed. It was that fast. We can press Finish to get out of the installer. And when we go to our Programs menu now, you'll see that Headline Grabber has been installed. And there's also an option to uninstall Headline Grabber. So let's take a look at Headline Grabber by going to the Programs menu and pressing on the Launcher shortcut that's there. As you can see, it starts up our application and the application works perfectly. So we've created a professional installer for our application and it worked perfectly the first time out. And it took us all of about, you know, one or two minutes. Again, if we go ahead and click on one of these um, headlines here, or double click rather, we go ahead and we get that headline in our default browser. So as you can see, the application is working perfectly as it was before, and everything worked out great. Now let's go ahead and uninstall our application and see how that works. We'll go to our programs uh, folder here, and we're going to go into the headline grabber option and click on the uninstall headline grabber shortcut. And you remember we had the option to include the uninstaller with our installer, and that's what we did. We left that checked, and this was all automatically created by Setup Factory. Let's go ahead and press the Next button, and there you go. Headline Grabber has been uninstalled. Press Finish. We'll go back to the Program menu here, and as you can see, Headline Grabber is gone. So Setup Factory not only created a bulletproof installer for us in just uh, a couple of seconds, but it also included the uninstaller, added everything to the appropriate folders, put it all in the program folder, created a shortcut, so on and so forth. So as you can see, it's super efficient. It's a great way to get your stuff out there, and it's, it's really professional. The theme looked really, really good throughout the process. You can see that the uh, installer and the uninstaller were consistent with each other, including the theme and so forth. So this is our first project we built. I hope everybody had fun. And let's go ahead and move on to the next video lesson where we will add one level of complexity to this project and go ahead and build it again.